not me filming twice in one week, who do I think I am? Anyway, hi guys, I'm Joshua Reese. If you're new here, welcome. I don't post often, but I'm trying to make a resurgence, reappearance, make a statement in my life. Just stop being lazy. So I'm actually quite excited to film this because I'm actually filming with the new James Charles painted basic canvas palette. So there's a bit of a story behind this. I had purchased this when it first came out. So whenever that was. And I had all intentions of filming. I had a back self of stuff to film. I was like ready, prepared. Didn't get around to doing it because life sucks, basically. And then now that I'm in like my little moment, so I kind of was like building things up again over the, I'd say about the past couple of months. Where's my basic canvas palette? Where has it gone? It went missing from my home. So... I had to repurchase and it's not been opened since I've got it so I actually I mean apart from looking at the back and see what the colour story is here but I had completely forgot what it was but I know I needed to try it so without further ado let's just dive in so I played around with my camera settings I'm not sure if this is going to work or not but looking on the monitors this actually looks better in terms of lighting you can actually see the stuff that I'm holding up rather than it being like oh my god what is that but anyway this is the unicarton it's so cute I love the painted gloss actually look at paintbrush effect all the shades and the shade names on the back so you kind of know what you're letting yourself in for cute now for the piece de resistance the actual palette itself i'm sorry it's rude it's actually rude who told him to create something that looks like this it's absolutely magical the texture it feels like an actual canvas you would paint on and obviously these textured moments here where it looks like actual paint i'm sorry this is absolute genius so aside from the palette looking how it does we'll talk about the pricing so the palette itself was 44 pound okay not the worst in terms of from what you're getting in the packaging and you have 24 shades not bad at all it's actually cheaper than jeffree star palettes and the Luna Beauty palettes, I believe, in terms of like influencer brands I can think of off the top of my head. However, there is no retailer in the UK that stocks this to ship it out. So, £23 for shipping. £23 for shipping. That's half the price of the palette itself. I half expected James to hand deliver this and shout, surprise sister, on my doorstep and hand this over. It was extortionate. I kind of resented doing it the first time, so the fact I had to pay this again a second time because, again, the palette went missing from my home. I could have bought a third palette. I get it's come from the States, I really do, but what did it do, arrive on a magic carpet? <laughs> so, let's hear the Hallelujah Chorus. This is what the palette looks like itself. It is what is advertised. It's a basic colour story in terms of its neutrals. The shades are absolutely stunning. These metallics, shimmers, whatever you want to call them, they just look like molten metal. They're absolutely beautiful. I have no idea what I want to do because I've got hair on me. Because I'm not a brown smoky eye kind of guy. What I might do actually is do two different eyes. So I'll do one eye with the cooler tones, so I like them, and then the other eye I will do with the pinks. I know it's not something I've done anymore, but I want to use quite a few shades. So I primed my lids with the P. Louise base, obviously. Now it's just trying to suss out which direction route I want to go down. So to start with, I think I'm going to go in with Cookie Dough, which is this one here. There is a bit of kick up in the uh, pan, but that really doesn't bother me. So we're just going to work this through the crease. These are brand new brushes, by the way. This first shade is actually very similar to the colour of my nose contour. It's going on absolutely beautifully. Like, the pigment is there. But, you know, I tap off and go in just to build these colours up and up and up. The colour's doing what it's meant to do. It is exactly that. It is a transition. So, next... I'm going to go in with this shade Oak, just here, to slightly deepen that. Just working that in, in like where the socket is. Oh, these are beautiful colours, I'll give them that, and they do go on so nice. It's weird to say, but when they go on, it's almost like they diffuse themselves from the outside and they have like this soft focus to them. I mean, I'm maybe completely making it up, that's what I see when I look at it, like around the edges, it has like... It just gives like a blurry moment, a soft focus edge moment, which I'm here for. Oh, this colour is beautiful and as I say, it's actually going on so nicely. And it's literally like not taking much effort at all to like feather these edges out and to blend it out. 
it seems to be like a, not much but a fair a bit darker on my eye than what it did in the pan because I wasn't sure if I was going to go this or the next one down but this is quite lovely I am obviously going to I'm not going to know but I'm going to cut a lot of this out because I do feel like I talk a lot and show you the whole process of me blending in which I don't think anyone really needs to see but ha <laughs> Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the shade Lava Cake just to really, really, really kind of like deepen that up and give it some grunge and oomph, I hope. Again, there is like a bit of kick up in the pan, but it really doesn't bother me as long as the payoff is nice on the eye. Right, we're going to go even like slightly lower. That colour went on straight away. That was the mood I needed. Just like slightly feather that into, because I've got hooded eyes, go above, slightly above where my crease is. And now we can deepen that. Oh, this is cute. This color is absolutely beautiful. They layer so well. This is a fucking moment. Oh, this oh, is making me sick. I love it so much. Yeah, just flick that out a little bit. Oh my god, who am I? Tickle that a bit more on the edge just to bring it out like we did with the shade above. Then as always, just go back into the other shades just to build the colour up, but also just to tickle and feather that those shades back out again so you get like the most beautiful of blends. I'm sorry, but whoever. Like, it's really weird, but this is giving me, like, burnt vibes. Like, you know when you get, like, burnt paper? So I did kind of cut a chunk out because I was doing a lot of back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But you get the gist, you get the idea, and we're loving it at this actual moment. Oh, so this is one I done. I now need to just know what. Do I want to go for a shimmer on the lid, or do I want to mattify it out completely and put sugar on the lid? Like, cut it and, do you know, just a moment. Let me try, let me try the shade Sugar first and see if that gives what I think it's going to give. I'm going to cut the crease with some P. Louise and I'll be right back. You don't need to see this. You really don't. So I've just cut the crease um, as much as I could, as well as I could. I haven't had to say I haven't cut a crease in so long. And I'm just going to take that shade Sugar and... Pack it on, basically. I will say, it's very much brightening, a very bright shade, so I can understand why he uses this to brighten his under eyes. Let me see, actually. I want to put a little bit of Gold Coast on the inner corner and see if it, like, zhuzhes it up a little bit. Oh, look at her. It is very similar in colour to the actual cookie shade that I put down. Uh, cookie dough? No, cookie. Sugar. I don't know. I'm just saying words now. I'm now going to do this eye and we are going to go in with the pink shades. I need to find clean brushes again. 573, 456. I thought I had doubles of those brushes, but I don't, so I've had to go and clean them off so I can use the same brushes for the same thing. You catch the drift. Stop talking, Josh. Right, so this eye was primed the same eye as the other one. And we're going to go in with the first shade, Warrior, just here, this, like, baby doll pink. I'm basically just doing what I did on this eye that I did on the other eye. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. What a nice blush shade that would be. But do you see what I mean when it goes on? It might just be, I might just be being very del delusional. But like this, it's just very soft. Like the pigment is there, but it's just so soft and like blurred. It's the only way I can describe it. Yeah, this shade is laying down lovely. The pigment is definitely there. And even like building it up, it doesn't wash anything away. So that is the first layer of the first shade down. We're then going to go in with the second shade, which is like this rose-coloured shade here called 
vintage and there's not much difference in these two shades so i don't really know if this is going to have much impact okay oh that one was pigmented okay well, it's definitely there so there is a difference by that it's not the massive difference but just a bit more depth to this one these do again i've said this so many times but the the texture of these and the way that they layer on each other so well is absolutely dreamy I'm very much aware that I haven't blended this up as much as the other one as of yet, but I am going to do my thing and go back and forward and back and forward. So we're going this last shade called Wemple. I don't even know what Wemple is. Does anyone know what Wemple is? Because I really don't. And this is just... It's almost like a... I mean, in the pan, it looks like a... A deep, plummy, burgundy-type colour. Like borderline purple. Yeah, it's definitely red and purple. This one doesn't seem to be um, going on as easy as that last one did. The deeper shade from the first eye. See that? See that? That patching it up. And I know it's not the eye base because I used it for the other eye and it's the eye base that I always use. Lose alert, Josh is talking shit. <laughs> Get in the whole bin. Oh, I do like these. this colour combination, actually. This is a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be, but now that I've kind of laid it up a bit, it's not as purple. Or it doesn't seem as purple because of the, the bright shade around it. It almost looks... It's making that other shade look a bit more neon, which I am absolutely here for. And then, do what I did before. I'm going to go back and forwards and backwards and forwards, but I'm going to cut that out because I don't want this to be like a 25 minute long video to be honest with you so I will work my way up until I get to the point that worked and <laughs> we'll be back two very boring minutes later back obviously done what I need to do here blended 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 this did this did seem to take a lot longer to blend to this point than this I did and I still feel that there is not as much as a seamless of blend on this eye as there is on this one but that could just be me and my poor skillmanship, if that is a word. So I just wanted to decide what... I'm going to do shimmer on this lid. Um, which one to do? I don't have to stay with the pinks or to do something like with this Finnegan shade here. Or if I go within these pink rounds. I am thinking to go with this like, Barbie-ish pink here um, on the lid and then use this towards the inner corner. Very pretty, don't get me wrong. Very pretty. All right, let's try this with some setting spray and see if we can build up the intensity of that a bit more. There we go. That is cute. Okay. If in doubt, just spray it. So I'm going to go in with the Cloud9 shade, which is like the baby doll pink shimmer shade. Pack that on, including the inner corner. I mean, to me, looking in the mirror here, it doesn't look like there's that much of like a transition between the two. Hmm. Let's spray this again. That's better. That's better. Okay, yeah, that's cute. That worked. So these are both eyes done, pretty much. I'm going to go off camera, do the usual, put lashes on, mascara, and then do like my lower lash line. And then we will be right back just to see everything when it's all tied up and ready to go. See you in a sec. So we are back. I've got lip on, I've got lashes on, some liner, and I actually have got a tiny bit of highlight on now. But I used the shade Finnegan from the palette. And it's just like this subtle little hint of a glow as opposed to like a full on wham bam in your face. Boom. Um, for the under eyes, I've just basically done the same as top and bottom. Lashes are the Claudia Killsby Half Lash uh, in HR4, I think. And the lip is Morphe Sweet Tea with a little bit of the Be Perfect Stacey Marie can double glazed in Drip Drip. Not really much to say to be honest with you. Just wanted to show this all off now it's all done because I'm very much obsessed. I love the colour stories. I love the way they blended together. I love the 
pigment, the, the impact they had in the eye, and the palette itself is an absolute dream to look at. But this is the finished look. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did like the video, just give it a cheeky little, you know, just a little. If you can do it on Facebook and you can double tap on Instagram, you could do it here. Also, subscribe to my channel. Just do it, please. Just help me a tiny bit. And then turn the notification bell on so you're notified every time I upload so you never miss a trick because there will be more. I will see you next one. Ciao.